Okay, so this is a quick video to tell you how to actually upload your theoretical exam, your subjective type exam. So if your exam requires you to write something on paper, try to find pages of the same size and start working on your midterm exam. Make sure that you uh, start with the page numbers. So make sure that you have page number written on the top right. Also, uh, let's start off with adding the basic details. So this is midterm exam. The most important detail is uh, the roll number. Make sure you mention your roll number and the name on the first page. After that, start working on your exam. Mention question number. So for example, there is question number one and I uh, start attempting the question number one. Once I'm done with the question number one, I will go for question number two and I start working on that. Once I'm uh, finished with the page, I will mention page number two. Make sure the sequence is there. And then I go for, let's say, uh, continue with question number two and then I want to attempt question number seven and I put the content of question seven and then question nine and then I uh, attempt a few more questions on the third page but for that I will mention page number three here as well and finally I attempt question number four and question number five and well I'm pretty much done so this is my exam now is the time to actually scan this document so let's scan the document Okay, so once you're done with your exam, uh, you must install the Scam Scanner application in advance. Don't waste your time during the exam. Download this Scam Scanner application on your mobile phone. And let's start the application and scan the exam. So I start Cam Scanner. Make sure your uh, pages are in a sequence. So maybe I can put the pages on a side and I put the first page in front and click on this camera icon. This is the first page of your exam. Just uh, hold your hand steady. Make sure you put your student ID card on top of this so that your roll number on the paper and your ID card is clearly visible. Maybe I can put it here. Yeah, that's better. So I'll uh, just uh, take the photo, keeping the hand steady, making sure that everything is uh, clearly visible. It will scan and automatically find the borders. Click on the next arrow button, the right arrow button. It will straighten it out, increase the brightness. Maybe uh, if it is not very readable, I think usually this is fine, but you could turn it into original as well. Click on the arrow, tick. Then you can add the second page. So I can click on the camera icon again. I can remove the first page, put the second page here, and take the photo. All right, arrow tick and then I bring the page number three on the table turn on the camera and so I had total three pages so you could have two three four five whatever number of pages in your exam click on that next tick and you are done with the scanning now you want to turn it into PDF on the top of the screen you can see a PDF icon the third icon from the right click on the PDF icon and it will actually show you the PDF, one, two, three pages. This looks good. So you could either uh, email this to yourself or you can share directly. And you can click on the share button and directly put on the classroom. So in my classroom, for example, uh, I have this test course. And inside the test course, I can attach to the assignment. And there is a dummy midterm I have created here. So when you click on that, it will upload your PDF to this uh, dummy midterm. It will take a few seconds to upload. Once it is uploaded, make sure that it you click on the turn in button. Once you turn it in, work submitted and you're all done. That's all.